And Stripe chips are hot. What's up, cereal heads? Today we're going to talk about two new cereals from Post: Chips Ahoy cereal and Nutter Butter cereal. But before we get to these, let's travel back in time to five months ago when I posted my video about Post's Honey Made S'mores cereal. Let's just rewind it here. No, no, no! Go past this. Past this part. In fact, never play this again. Ah, here we go. All right, let's just make it full screen. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because it's possible we'll see Multimeal Generic Cookie Bites rebranded as Chips Ahoy cereal. Or maybe Peanut Butter Colossal Crunch will become Nutter Butter cereal. With Nabisco, Post, and Multimeal all working together now, there are dozens of possibilities for brand synergy, as they call it. So who knows what new rebranded Post cereals we'll see down the road. Now, as much as I'd like to think that somebody over at Post Marketing or R&D watches Serial Time and got the idea that way, that's almost certainly not the case. As I mentioned in that clip, it was really a no-brainer to see the numerous co-branding opportunities with Nabisco. I'm sure these serial concepts had already been in the works for months, if not longer. But it was still pretty cool to see my intuition pay off like that. Alright, let's fast forward back to the current time now. Whoa, 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 that's a little too far. Uh, back it up, back it up. What the hell am I looking at? When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happened. All right, let's get into the cereal now. These two new boxes are available exclusively at Walmart. So if you want a box, head over to walmart.com or to your nearest Walmart store. Let's start with Chips Ahoy. This brand under the Nabisco umbrella started making cookies back in 1963. They make a handful of different varieties. The chewy chocolate chips are one of my favorites. And Chips Ahoy is the second best selling cookie brand in the US, right behind Oreo, another Nabisco product. Now, as I mentioned in that clip, the co-branding between Post and Nabisco is what allows Post to use those Nabisco brands in their cereals. But the product itself is most likely just a repackaged version of Post's Multimeal Cookie Bites cereal. Now, I say most likely because I actually haven't been able to find Cookie Bites or Peanut Butter Colossal Crunch on shelves near me recently. I've seen them in stores in the past, but I'm just wondering if Post is having Multimeal pull back on their production of those two cereals so as not to compete with these two new Post cereals. Whatever the case may be, this Chips Ahoy cereal is basically a knockoff of classic Cookie Crisp cereal released by Ralston. Back in the 80s, I used to love Cookie Crisp, but sometime, maybe when General Mills took over the brand, it changed the recipe and it doesn't taste anywhere near as good as it used to taste back in the day. But enough about those other cereals, we got this new Chips Ahoy cereal here, so let's take a look at it. So here's what this Chips Ahoy cereal looks like. It looks basically the same as Cookie Crisp. The cookies are puffier and less dense than the old original Cookie Crisp cereal though. All right, let's give them a try. Yeah, it's pretty good, but I think it tastes pretty similar to the modern day Cookie Crisp cereal. There might be a little more chocolate or cocoa flavor in this one. I feel like it's a little richer. They're better than Keebler cereal from Kellogg's, but not quite as good as Oreo O's. Ultimately, at the end of the day, if you wanna eat cookies for breakfast, well, I would just eat cookies for breakfast. They have about the same nutritional value, so I'd just go get yourself a box of Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies and eat a few of those. I will add, this stuff does a good job of chocolifying your milk. <sighs> okay, on to the next one, new Nutter Butter cereal. Nutter Butter cookies were introduced by Nabisco back in 1969. In a way, they're kind of like Oreos, except with a peanut-shaped peanut cookie and some peanut butter cream in the middle. Again, this one seemed like a no-brainer for a perfect cereal because people love their peanut butter cereals. Now, unlike Chips Ahoy cereal, which basically just repurposed Multimeal's cookie bites, Post decided to make this cereal actually look like the Nutter Butter cookies. Let's open it up and take a look. So here's what a bowl of this Nutter Butter cereal looks like. You can see the pieces are shaped like peanuts, the hallmark shape of the Nutter Butter cookie. Mmm, that's really good. It's got a perfect peanut butter, sweet, and salty balance to it. The flavor is not super unique or different than other peanut butter cereals that have come and gone before it, but I don't know, there's something about this flavor that I really, really like. It's better than peanut butter Cap'n Crunch or that Kellogg's GIF cereal that came out a while back. I think I slightly prefer peanut butter Puffins over this one, but it's a virtual tie. Peanut butter Toast Crunch is still the mark to hit for me, but this stuff comes close. And it's cool to get a new peanut butter cereal from a familiar brand like Nutter Butter. So now, let's speculate. We've seen Post pair with Nabisco on Oreo O's, Chips Ahoy, and Nutter Butter cereals, so it seems like an easy formula to follow for them to capitalize on some of the well-known Nabisco brands and reinvent some of their existing cereal products. So what other Nabisco products could they make into cereals? Okay, first let's take a look at the major brands under the Nabisco umbrella. There's a lot of them, but here are the major players. I think right off the bat we can eliminate the gums and the mints. 
As funny as a trident or dentine cereal might be, I think we can all agree that that ain't gonna happen. Next, let's eliminate some of the savory stuff like crackers and cheeses. Yes, I know some of you are probably dying for an easy cheese cereal, but trust me, you're in the minority. And then let's get rid of some of the more obscure or international brands. Milka, LU, Terry's, Belveda, Green and Blacks. Sure, they make good products, but they aren't really recognizable enough for Post to make a cereal out of. Let's see, Comet is just a brand for ice cream cones, so that's a non-starter. What else, what else? Ah, so Lorna Dunes and Malamars are both classic cookies. Lorna Dunes have been around since 1912, and Malamars have been around since 1913. But Lorna Dunes are a shortbread cookie, and I'm not sure how well that would translate to a cereal. And Malamars are too similar to S'mores, which Post already used Honey Made to repurpose that cereal. So let's strike those two off the list. Now Barnum's Animal Crackers or Cookies might seem like a logical bet, considering there was a Crispy Critter cereal back in the day by Post, which was essentially just animal crackers. But these days, I don't think Barnum's Animal Crackers would really excite any cereal lovers. Not to mention the fact that P.T. Barnum was a pretty terrible guy and probably shouldn't be celebrated, no matter how much you might enjoy Hugh Jackman's portrayal of him in The Greatest Showman. All right, so let's see, what else do we have left? Ah, there's two candies there, Sour Patch Kids and Swedish Fish. Now, personally, I'd love to see a Trix like cereal with some citric acid added in to give it a sour taste, but we haven't really gotten a cereal based on a candy since the 80s with Nerd Cereal. Candy just doesn't translate very well to cereal, and I think a lot of parents would be hesitant to buy their kids cereal based on popular candies. So unfortunately, no Sour Patch Kids or Swedish Fish. So it looks like we're left with five options. Now in my mind, one of these is more likely than the other four, but let's run through all of them. Toblerone is an iconic chocolate bar known for its triangular shape and delicious honey and almond nougat flavor. Now I would love to see a cereal with little chocolate triangle puffs with almond flavor baked in and coated in a light honey flavor. That would be delicious and I think hugely popular, but for some reason I don't feel like chocolate bars translate to cereal very well, so I feel like that's unlikely. What about Fig Newtons? Those are one of my favorite cookies and I feel like they're fairly popular still. I used to love the apple cinnamon and strawberry versions, but in concept, this doesn't sound too hard to make into a cereal, right? It wouldn't have to be super different from shredded wheats with fruit in the middle. Though instead of shredded wheat, I think this cereal would have to be more like, and I can't believe I'm saying this, Crave. You take that outer Crave shell, make it taste better, and then just fill it with a little fruit in the middle, and boom, you got yourself a Newton cereal. But whatever way you do it, it seems like it'd be way too much work for the post team, and they don't seem like they're up to the effort or creativity needed to make this cereal. What about Ginger Snaps though? This is the one I most want to see actually. I know I hate to drone on about this all the time, especially around this time of year, but there's a serious lack of ginger or gingerbread cereals on the market. Feels like Post could just take their multi meal toaster cereal and add a spicy ginger blast to them. They don't even need to make them round like the cookies. Keep the square shape. Just give us the ginger flavored cereal we've been asking for. And with the great known brand like Ginger Snaps behind it, people would love this stuff. All right, now there's also Teddy Grahams. Now this is kind of cheating because Teddy Grahams was already a cereal back in 1990 when Nabisco still made cereals. They called it Breakfast Bear Cereal, as you can see from this box I have from 1990. They had three flavors, chocolate, cinnamon, and this honey version. And the cereal was basically the same as just regular Teddy Grahams. In fact, you could probably just put Teddy Grahams in a bigger box, add the word cereal to it, slap the Post logo on it, and voila, Teddy Graham Cereal. As it is, you can just eat those little Teddy Grahams with milk anyway. But I'm not sure how popular that brand still is today. It's definitely not as popular as Teddy Grahams were in 1988 when they first came out. So that leaves us with one brand left, which I think should be next up for post cereal conversion. Nilla Wafers. Nabisco started making these cookies way back in 1898. Back then they were called Vanilla Wafers. They officially changed their name to Nilla Wafers in 1967. These cookies are delicious, and I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with them. And I think they make a great cereal because well, because Ralston already pretty much made this cereal back in the day with vanilla wafer cookie crisp. This version was discontinued in the mid 80s with chocolate chip winning out as the more popular version, but the vanilla wafer version was delicious. With Post already copying cookie crisp cereal, how hard is it to remove the chocolate chips and add a little vanilla flavor to the pieces? And then boom, you got yourself a vanilla wafer flavored cereal with a recognizable brand slapped on the front of the box. Then you could even add some fresh sliced bananas to the cereal to make that classic banana pudding with Nilla wafers that people love. Come on Post, make Nilla wafers the next Nabisco cereal you release. All right, well I've rambled on for way too long now about fictional cereals that will probably never come to fruition. But if I was working at Post, I'd already have these new delicious cereals in the works. At the end of the day, I guess we should just be happy we got these two new cereals from Post this year. So if you like Chips Ahoy cookies or Nutter Butter cookies, head out to Walmart and pick these up. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. Man, I wish Nabisco would bring back Giggles cookies. <laughs>